Hello, and welcome back to uh, Bearing Fruit Lenten Devotionals. I'm Pastor Rosa Rivera from Emmanuel Lutheran in Pflugerville, Texas, and we begin our study today, uh, studying the book of Colossians, with the first two verses of Colossians chapter 1, which says, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the saints and faithful brothers and sisters in Christ in Colossia, grace to you and peace from God our Father. Well, I think uh, this is a natural uh, place to start. When you are um, meeting someone new, the first thing you do is make an introduction. And Paul does the same in many of his letters. Um, by making an introduction. Timothy was a, a person whom he trusted, a person who would often uh, come and visit him in prison, and would also carry the, the letters to the people. Um, and so we'll see Timothy's name quite a bit. He was the one that was basically entrusted with nurturing and taking care of the people of Colossia while Paul was in prison. So it makes sense that he starts um, first by mentioning his name, and then he also identifies himself as to who he is. He says that he's an apostle of Christ, and that by the will of God, um, that he will do whatever it is he's been called to do. And so there is this, uh, even in these first two verses, there is a sense of Paul knowing his identity that um, is really important to point out there. So I wanted to talk this a little bit about in the second verse, these two words that we say a lot in church, and I wonder if you really have thought about what they mean. Uh, when we say grace, what do you think of? When I say grace, I think of something that I receive that I don't deserve. That is certainly how grace is described theologically in the church and how we are called to understand God's grace to us through Christ. And I believe the other part of that is the word peace because peace to me by definition, theologically speaking, is to have this calmness of heart, calmness of spirit, a sense of uh, centeredness almost. Um, and so when you put those two words together, that you have something you don't receive, you don't, you know, that you shouldn't receive, but is willingly given, and then you receive this something that is designed to give inner peace. And when you put those two things together, it makes sense that we say, we see the words grace and peace often going together. Grace to you and peace from God our Father is often said at the beginning of sermons. You may have heard Pastor Tom using that phrase. I usually lead with a different type of prayer, but it is a way of extending um, the Word of God so that we use actual words from Scripture to point to the fact that uh, that we will be professing the the gospel texts and that um, so it kind of points us to a more deeper understanding of um, how we are meant to digest what we hear in a sermon. So when you hear someone say grace to you and peace from God our Father, it is meant to bring this kind of centeredness, this um, this moment of uh, calmness so that you can receive what is coming in the words of the sermon. So I know the, not only, only those two verses, there was a lot there to unpack, but I want you to think about those things. Maybe you ask yourself some questions like, um, what do you do mentally or physically to prepare when you hear a sermon? Have you ever thought about um, how you introduce yourself to someone and how that uh, comes across um, 
I myself struggle and work on that all the time because a lot of people say when they first meet me that I don't always have a, a very good first impression. Um, so that's something that I personally have to work on when it comes to introductions. Um, maybe that's not the case for you, but maybe you do come with peace and grace for others. And if that's the case, then uh, God bless you and I hope you continue to do that. So let us close with a prayer. Thanks for the journey of my life, Holy One. You have surprised me many times. Surprise me again today through your love, your grace, and peace. Amen. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you next time.